Hello. In today's video, I'm going to talk about a request that was made for the DCA module. Along with exit positions, a request was made to allow the DCA module to exit at a specific percentage. This update discusses that addition, and this applies to both the DCA module and the analyzer DCA combination. So let's look at the settings. And you will see that I have no exit point but that I have an exit percentage of 10%. What this means is that if the price action goes 10% below the average, then on the next purchase, it will sell at a loss. Exit percentage works exactly like exit position in that it revolves around the next purchase. So let's see if we can find an example of it taking place. Okay, here we go. As you can see, a purchase took place well, it would have took place right here. Let's see if we can zoom this in more. So for the purchase, rather than taking on a position that is below 10% of the average. It exited out with a loss. So exit percentage will act as a dynamic stop loss in that it waits for the next purchase. And then according to that percentage, it will exit. So let's see how that looks for my profit. As you can see, my profit, even with the exit percentage, is still 1.4%. And that is on the one minute cycle. Now it took 39 positions as a maximum before it got to this percentage. And it can be used with your exit position. And in that case, it's whichever happens first. So let's put a 10 in. And there we have it. So either it will go to the 10th position or the price action will drop below 10%. If either case happens, the strategy gets out. As you can see, here is a situation that took place. So either it is above 10 purchases or the price action is 10% below the average. Mm -hmm. So by using these combinations, you can see that a very aggressive recipe becomes very manageable and yet still very profitable. Here is two exit positions back to back or I should say exit points, 
since it can now be percentage based as well. Here's a third one. So I am still making my profit basis reasonably well, even with this situation. And for this particular recipe, my profit starts at 0.75 and goes down to my break even of 0.5. My deviation is extreme and insane at 0.3%. And yet, this recipe will not go above $100 per coin. So as you can see from the framework, this recovery re recipe and methodology is extremely well built and very specific to its intent. So roughly every three and a half days, it is going to make 1% profit or whatever your total budget is. Not bad, really, and quite good, comparably speaking, considering this is actually using my recovery recipe. So there you have it, exit percentage and exit position. You can use either or both at the same time. Whichever one hits first is the one that dictates the functionality. Let's pick another coin. Let's pick something not so easy to work with. The number one coin that is always a pain. And yet it still maintains an absolute controlled limit. Even with deliberate exiting to get out of it before it goes south quickly. The better quality coins are going to have better outcomes but this is still reasonably good considering my highest profit is only 0.5%. Of course, higher quality coins are realistically going to be the best since they are likely to have the strongest recovery. So be sure to test and play with this if you think it will benefit you. And as always, you do not need to update a recipe that is working. This is only if you want to take advantage of the additional features that it represents and offers. Until next time.